All right, guys, so we got this red fault light on on our IT300 here. I'm just going to go over how to troubleshoot. So I'm going to open up my IT app. Uh, my transformer name is going to pop up. So this one is called Pull Equipment on my IT app. So I'm going to get into that one there. Connecting to Pull Equipment. Orange light is flashing. That means I'm connected to that transformer. And then as suspected, I got a red error code. It says smart transformer output over current alert code 2. So just going to be digging into that, see what's going on. All right, guys. So we got our smart transformer alert code 2. Uh, the list that it has is it says common causes of this condition are too many light fixtures are connected, an incandescent light, non-LED is connected, or there's an electrical short. So most times when this alert code uh, appears and there's a red fault light because of it, it's most times because of a short in the wire, a cut wire, something like that. Um, the first two things we're going to do to troubleshoot this is we're going to just start by simply un unplugging the transformer for about 30 seconds and then plugging it back in um, and then seeing if the red code goes away. If it does not, then what we'll do is we're going to start with, there's three wire runs going into this transformer. We're going to start with each run one at a time, stick it into the transformer, power it on, and try and find out which wire run exactly is causing the short. Once we find that out, we know that we've narrowed our focus to just that one run and we can start doing more investigating on that run uh, of fixtures. All right, so troubleshoot number one, we're just gonna you know, unplug the transformer, take some time, typically take about 30 seconds, plug it back in. And then what I'll do is bring my app back up, connect back into this transformer, Got my light flashing there, turn the lights on, and red fault light comes back on. Air code on my phone. So we go to uh, troubleshoot option number two. All right guys, so we had the red fault light still on. We know we have a short somewhere uh, in one of our wire runs. So what I'm gonna do is I unplugged the IT to do a reset. I'm gonna plug it back in, go in my IT app on my phone. I'm gonna connect to transformer and then what I'm gonna do is turn the transformer on so the symbol on my app indicates that the transformer the, the fixtures are on what I've gone ahead and done is I disconnected from the volt tap all three wire runs and all I'm gonna do is simply push one wire run up into a tap to see if it trips the transformer here we go door number one no trip number two second wire run did not trip the transformer, and my third wire run caused a fault on the transformer. So door number three, or wire number three, is causing an issue. So therefore, my um, extended troubleshooting is gonna be with this wire run out on this job site in the yard. That's how you narrow it down. All right, guys, so now that we know which lead is the one causing a short, which is this one for us, it was lead number three. What I did is I unplugged the transformer again, plugged it back in, I connected the two leads to the IT transformer that are working properly. And then now what I'll do is I'm going to power on the transformer. Of course, there's no trip. Those two working leads are now on. So I know which wire runs are working and where they lead to in the yard. Now what I'll do is to find the lead that's not working correctly is I'll go through the yard um, to the lights that are not on and I'll start there. That's where I'll do my uh, investigative work to find out where that trip is. All right guys, so we've run into somewhat of a common situation here that many of you might run, uh, come across in the field. Lead number three is giving us our problems or causing our short. So here's our lead coming out of the transformer and then at some point down the line or at your job site, it's gonna split and go two different directions. Now we gotta figure out which direction or which um, split is causing the real issue. So we're really gonna have to narrow things down even more. So what I'm gonna do is I got my transformer unplugged. I'm gonna put this lead number three that's giving us issues and I'm gonna wire it back into the transformer. There we go. And then I'm going to cut one of those splits. At this, point, at this point, it's a 50-50 shot that I get it right. So I'm just gonna cut this one, keep this one on here. 
plug my transformer back in, pull up my IT app and connect to the transformer. I'm going to power the transformer on, but wait, I already have an alert code. So what that tells me is the lead that I cut from the, the junction point is the good side. Because this is on a fault, I know that the one that's still in or still connected to the transformer, this is causing my problems. All right guys, so now we found which end of the split is the good end and which end of the split is the bad end. What I'm gonna do is reconnect the good end. So now, just gonna wire the good end of the split back to the transformer. Then what I'll do is I'll connect to my IT app, turn the transformer on. Now all my working runs are gonna be powered on. And then what I'm, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have a line that's not working and I'll know that that's where I need to uh, do my searching for a, a cut in the wire or a short. Okay guys, so here's where we're at. We found lead number three, where it splits off to. That led us to this wire run right here. So the first recommendation is gonna be to do somewhat of a eye check or a soft search in the immediate area. So what we've, or what I've gone ahead and done is look for any wire that's coming up out of the ground, maybe something a gardener cut, or uh, maybe a bad connection um, at your wire nuts. If you don't see anything that pops out at you, then the next step for us is to go to the first junction on that bad wire run. So we have a junction here. This is going back to the transformer. And then we have three leads that split off and go their different directions. Now these two brown wire leads are in this immediate zone here. This black wire lead runs along this fence and goes all the way down. So all we're gonna do at this point is cut a lead, turn the transformer back on. If the transformer power is on and there's no fault, then the lead that I cut is my problematic lead. I'm gonna trace this and again, I'm just narrowing and narrowing and narrowing down. Okay guys, let me give you an update here. These three, or this junction point that we had, we ended up cutting this black wire which ran along this fence. We turned the transformer back on and there was a fault light. So that tells us that this black wire that we cut is actually good to go. It also narrows it down and tells us that one of these brown wires is the actual issue. We're left with these two brown wires trying to find our short. So what I'll do now, it's just like we said, just gonna choose one here. I'll cut this brown wire. I'm gonna go turn the transformer back on. If the fault light remains on, then I know this is the wire that's the problem, the one that's intact. We'll see what happens. All right, everyone, here's what we got. So here's our junction, we cut our black wire and uh, that wasn't causing the issue. So then we cut this brown wire here, we turn the transformer back on and the wire that's intact, that wire run and those fixtures stayed on. So that tells us that the short came from the second wire we cut from this junction. Um, so now what we're gonna do is just trace this wire and try to find our issue down the line. All right guys, so working with this junction here, we found that this was the wire that was causing the issue. We traced it down into the dirt and pulled up another uh, kind of cluster of wires that were wired together here. What we found there was a loose connection. This wire looks like it got cut by some type of gardening tool. And then there's another one here that's just exposed. So exposed copper, this is our problem. Now here in this particular, um, or at this particular job site, this is kind of a big just cluster of wires that is somewhat hard to understand what goes where. So for this job site, in this case, what we're gonna go ahead and do is just rewire everything. We'll put a new 12-2 wire from this junction back to uh, the transformer and just kind of organize it and it'll make a little bit more sense for everyone.